Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. This week we are trying something a little new. I'm uh, going to be doing three episodes of Gold Rush and two episodes of uh, Fishing North Atlantic. So let me know how you guys like that. And then also we're actually trying something new uh, with this whole deal. We're actually going to be uh, doing a little bit of a time lapse and then we're going to go into uh, the normal routine of things and actually meet talking to you. Uh, so let me know how, how you think about that as well. What we need to do is see how many truckloads we did. I think that would only be four once it's done. So I think we need another one like I thought, but I wasn't for sure. Wasn't for sure. It, there we go. And then after that, you know, We'll do the clean out and uh, basically the same old, same old. But anyway, look at the progress we have been making. I mean, we, we have to get there first, but uh, <laughs> come on. Oh, nope, okay. Come on. Come on. You know, I did this like 20 times now that we got the dump truck, and I haven't gotten stuck all, but th that's my second time. Can we go up this way? Barely. Barely. Come on. Get up the hill. Come on. Come on. You know, I say that to my uh, my semi at work, too. Because we have to go up a steep grade. Um, and, and, yeah, she uh, she don't really like to, to do it. You know what I mean? But, anyway, so what my plan is, is I've been talking to Mr. Allen for, well, a lot what we're going to be doing is we're going to be excavating as much of this dirt as we can. And then uh, it, then we'll move the excavator from here, go down to that little point, and then continue down the hill. Get the front end loader coming in here and pick up the remnants of the dirt. And then probably where, you know, where we're at right now, just so uh, we can get everything. Uh, but other than that, what we need to do is actually back up a touch as much as we can at this point. Uh, and then we actually need to get out and move the dump truck now. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's like we've done it before, you know. Uh, then we get to change this around. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like the time lapse thing. It's just something different. Like I said, when I uh, when I record, you know, five videos and they're almost an hour long each you know that's five hours of me talking and, and uh, i run out of things to talk about so hopefully you guys don't mind the time lapse every now and again because like i said i i run out of things to talk about but uh yeah so we have a few people there in discord uh and actually oh my goodness i hit the wrong button and yes yeah, so everybody that uh, has actually made it you know thank you for that um yeah, but basically, if you want to join the Discord, the server or the the invite is always in the or yeah the description. Um, basically, when you're watching the video, it's you know you just hit the little tab there um, where the you know where I talk about the video a little bit, and then uh, just copy and paste that URL, and uh, you can be invited to uh, the Discord server. And like I said, the rules are simple. Just you know. Just talk about games and, and you're good to go. Uh, but in, other than that, that adds a uh, much better way to, uh, you know, talk about the games, talk to me, uh, get to know the, you know, a few people in the community and everything else. Uh, and, yeah, so on and so forth. So hopefully you guys, or I will see you there, hopefully, um, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's how I, uh, I'm i getting to know Mr. Allen a lot more. Uh, you know, Mr. Michael has made his appearance out there and uh, four or five other people, but I don't know their name or nothing like that. So uh, they have different uh, gamer tags or, or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, so if you don't have a Discord, all you have to do is just set one up. It is free. Um, and then, yeah, so just come out and go on there and hang out and everything else and talk about fishing North Atlantic, Gold Rush, so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, just hang out, basically. But other than that, not a whole lot's been changing. Today is Monday at 10.37 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. 
And uh, yeah, my uh, my gal actually woke me up this morning and uh, scared the holy hell out of me, which she does that a lot, actually. For some reason, when I'm sleeping, if you touch my feet, I, I wake up immediately. For some reason, I don't I don't understand why. It's just my brother has figured that out back when we were youngins, and uh, every time we'd go fishing or something like that, he'd just tap my foot and then I'd wake right up. So. Because of that, my gal did that and scared the holy bejesus out of me, and yeah, wasn't real fun. That's all I need, and then that'll be a full bucket. There we go. Just get a little bit more fuller bucket, put it there just to let me know that that is where I want the dump truck. But yeah, as you can tell, we're getting pretty, pretty good. I mean, I don't really know if we go into the gold map. I have the hardest time trying to figure out where we are yeah we're definitely right here so let's mark that one that one and yeah so we're oh, we're definitely getting out of the gold basically so we're gonna have to move I mean we could get this dirt but I'd rather you know aim for here especially that one right there and then the ultimate decision is probably go to here and then there's an ounce so we'll go there as well. So probably these two are here, and then we'll just keep on because there's a lot of a lot of gold in that little patch. So we either have th this is the ultimate decision, and, and it's basically the hardest one. We can either go up here with you know the same amount of gold as down here, or we can go down here first, and that second, this first, that second. I don't know. I don't know yet. So let's see. So this is where the good gold is. We do have a little bit of a little chunk out of it already. But yeah, we're definitely not in the great gold yet. So we're definitely going to have to move just because I don't really feel like dealing with with bad gold at the moment, especially when we whoa, almost slipped her. Especially when we have the potential chance of getting better gold. Why dig for the worst gold? You know what I mean? So, especially since I spent, I think it was like three hours drilling every single square uh, that I, that you see on that map, I, I uh, drilled and it took about three or four hours. I, I don't remember exactly how long, but it took a long time. It took a long time indeed. But anyway, with that being said, we might as well just drive this back over since we've got to wait for that to be done anyway. Big old hole right there always get caught right there and then so on and so forth I think we need yeah we need about a hundred thousand uh, dollars one more hundred thousand dollars and then we will be good to go I think what is that square there that I marked is that the good gold there I mean it's not terrible you know what I think I think this here is the edge of the thing. Now, of course, you guys just have to, to work with me here. So what I want to do is take these off because I don't really care about them. And then start marking these. Oh. Oh, geez. What's really hard is that if you don't get it just right, you're screwed up. What is this one? 92. Yeah, so we're starting on this little bank there. So what we're going to be doing... Is it's basically right there. Copy, copy, copy. So what we'll do is we'll get into this little MacGyver. Get into a, a view I can see. And then basically just move over there. Now what's going to be interesting is that I got used to driving on the left side of this hole. And now we're going to be driving on the right side of the hole. But because the dirt is here, we, we're going to have to uh, dig out that the edge piece first. Or at least that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so because I have a fantastic memory, I can't remember where the good dirt is. 92, 111, 103, 102. Okay, so let's, let's just start here. I mean, that one's not bad either. Oh, that one's even better. So what we'll do is exactly what I thought we were going to do. But we... Oh, come on. 
we will start right on this square and then work our way over yonder there we go now if that is enough room it would be lovely to just put it here but we have to figure out if that is a good decision or not seeing if I can get through this little patch here or this bridge I guess you can call it I know I, I hit a for the release the parking brake turn baby turn I mean there's enough room we could do it it just we might have to back up a few times no big deal and then perfect so we'll just back up oh lovely bed lovely bed and then deal right there boom I forgot to turn it off turn it off so what we're gonna need to do is actually we're gonna need to get the fuel tank out and fill up the uh, excavator that should be fine on fuel but yeah so if we start here and if we can reach out here we might even have to move up a touch so let's actually do that while we're here and there we go do this one so we can see something there we go yep that will work out perfectly like I said it, it may not be the best because our arm is kind of all jacked up but if we can just start this up get to the good dirt gold or dirt whatever you want to call it then that'll be our next little adventure because at the end of the day all we have to do is just get all the dirt that we can you know honestly there we go let's just back up just a touch so we can get a little bit more more of an arm change or something whatever you want to call it you know there we go get all the dirt we can I mean since we're here I might as well just fill it up you know like I said it, it might not be the best dirt on top but I don't really want to get the bulldozer and, and move it around because I'm not very good at the bulldozer Mr. Allen said that he was good at it, and I said, well, good, you can work on my claim, but then he said no, so I guess we're not going to do that either. There we go. So my video for Monday is almost up. we got an hour and 15 minutes left to go, and it's actually, well, when I'm recording this, it's actually the one that uh, I actually find the good gold after the worst cleanout we ever had. So with that being said, it's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're just going to fill this up and then the wash plant should be done, hopefully. If not, then we'll take this dump truck over there and, and make sure it's done. But it should probably be done by now. But yeah, me and Mr. Allen has been talking strategically about uh, the next attack on this on this claim. And of course, if you have any ideas, like I said, Discord is basically the best way to do it. Um, because I get notifications on my phone for Discord. So if you did join the Discord, you can either, either private message me. Or you can actually talk on the uh, the whole server either one and uh you know it's a good way to uh you know join the community and and uh, everything else basically that's the goal right there is is uh getting the community up and running and uh you know basically you know that that's all we can do play games and and figure out the best course of action with whatever we're doing um and so on and so forth like that all right so that should be done get out jump into this deal there we go so yeah so we're definitely not in the good gold spot yet but we'll be getting there that was oh my god now the good thing is is somehow we made it but the good news is is that uh when you when you do stupid shit like that 
you don't lose the gold or the dirt. So, with that being said, you'll be doing some stupid shit. 89%. I thought for a fact, and we're saving, I thought for a fact that we were closer than that. So, what we're going to be doing is we're might as well just put probably about 30% in. Well, might as well just do it all. Weehaw. There we go. And it is done. So now we'll just put the bed back down. And then kill it. And then basically just wait. Because I don't want to waste all my dirt that I just dug up. Put the controller down. Because of course we don't need it. 92. 92. So one truck does about 19 to 20%. So normally you need five, but for some reason, that was my sixth one, or my fifth one, plus I had 15% in the in the wash, or, well, yeah, wash plant before I started, and I keep hitting this damn mic. I do apologize. So, I don't know, did I only do four trucks? I can't remember. I'm going to have to count now. When I when I edit, edit this video, I'm going to have to count. And, of course, that was changed out, which is always lovely. I need actually more workers, but eh, let's see. So, oh, 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 boom. I mean, we could do that, but let's just kill it all. So we're not wasting anything. Let's see. So everything's about 2%. We might as well start with the, the hiatus here. And as you can see, I actually went out to uh, Uncle Arnold's claim and got my uh, my moss mats, and then I got, I think, another set of those, but I'm not for sure. So I have more... Nope, I fell. I have more moss mats, so if I did ever want to do a two-clean-out gig, uh, all I have to do is just switch them out. But what sucks is, is that you have to have a worker to use these metal holder things, and that, and that kind of sucks. Um, you know, because I, I, I was like, oh, sweet, you know, because I have extra ones, we can, we can use them, and everything will be fine. Nope, that's not how, that's not the game it plays. So that sucks. And of course, nobody wants to work for me, because you gotta fast forward the day or whatever. Well, I can't afford to do that, but I mean, we're doing all right by ourselves anyway. So I'm not really concerned with it. I thought I heard my my dog. Mr. Harley is behind me. And uh, so if you heard his, his uh, collar, he always scratches himself and is uh, absolutely obnoxious. Well, yeah. So if you heard that, he's actually sitting right behind me. He normally does when I'm recording. He normally uh, sits right behind me and or lays behind me and, and then... If you ever see me do that, it's basically him trying to get me to pet him. It's like, don't you understand I'm trying to record here, bud? And and then he just stares at me like, what? <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. I mean, he's still a pain in my ass, but you got to love him, I guess. At least that's what I was told. Here, let's see. Two, four, six. Okay, so next up. So we could potentially start that up. Uh, let's see. Let's get the Nuggetator running. The big water pump running. Because it's always loud. I really do need to get another water deal. But I can't necessarily. Uh, let's see. While that's running, we might as well come up here. But I can't necessarily because of the fact of uh, I already have a four splitter. And it goes to the two um, hog pans, and then it goes to the wave table and the magnetite separator. That was fast. That's not necessarily good if it's that fast. Um, but anyway, with that being said, I don't necessarily want to have another splitter. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I'll just deal with the, the changing of the tide every time I do it. 
But anyway, other than that, like I said, it's Monday. It's uh, hopefully everybody has a great start to the week. Of course, I'm off. That's why I'm actually recording today. And uh, not doing a whole hell of a lot. Just sitting here and, uh, you know, I wish I was drinking beer, but I actually don't drink. So, Oh, and also, I did that yesterday. After after I got done recording, I'm like, yeah, screw it. Let's just do it. Okay, so I picked that up, apparently. Let's see. Let's put this back here. Do the hard one first, or the easy one first, I guess. And put that one there. And that one here. And, of course, like I said, everybody likes the grindiness of this game. I've, I've tried to cut this out. And I really, and I was told no. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch! Come on, get. Thank you. And I was told no. So now you get to see everything, everything. So, like I said, unless you want to change your mind, you get to see everything. Okay, we we need to unplug this because it's absolutely insanely loud to my ears. You know, and then a lot of people would be like, yeah, that's why if you unplug it, then you don't have to worry about it. Well, oh, really? Got to make sure that that yellow is around the one you want to pick up. That is for sure. And there. Beautiful, beautiful. And while that's running, might as well change these out. I really need to get the new ones, but like I said, I have a loan I got to pay off. And I don't know if I want to pay off the loan, like, as soon as I get the money or as soon as, you know, I'm, I'm clear to go. I'm, I, I don't know yet. So, I think what I'll do is after I'll just work through the day, and then as soon as it's done, oh, come on, as soon as it's done, done, then I'll be like, okay, well, now I can do that. Turn, turn this off. Thank you. And then come up here. What it never falls through. Beautiful, and of course the the weather is being absolutely insane on the game. It doesn't know what it wants to do. Typical Oregon weather right there, you know. One minute it's, you know, sunny. Next minute it's raining. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, and also, if you don't know, right now Oregon is on fire, which is normal. I mean, everybody freaks out about it, and it's like. We, we catch on fire every summer. I mean, it, it, it literally, it, it's every summer. It's, it's nothing too big. But anyway, we have uh, what, we, what everybody's calling the bootleg fire outside of Klamath Falls. And it's over 303,000 acres. Just absolutely roaring at the moment. Uh, I think the biggest growth that we had was over 40,000 acres. And that was overnight. And normally, nighttime is when it slows down because it's not hot or anything. Well, not as hot. But yeah, I mean, it just erupted. So they're uh, they're absolutely having a tough time with that one. And then they're they said that it was they were doing or the the fire was creating super dangerous conditions. So then they couldn't work on it anymore. And uh, something about a pyro something or other cloud and it, it was just it's just crazy it made its own weather system and uh yeah so uh, but now it's up to 25 percent at 303,000 acres so it's still roaring but i mean it's they're getting to hang a hold of it so that's always good to know good to hear i've actually worked on a few fire camps myself my dad did portable toilets so have two percent probably just wait until the n oh well no because i i have to actually do it uh give me a bucket mm, hey you give me your bucket thank you this is what i normally do i normally just leave it in the thing i should have known i was going to be fast i normally just leave it so after i get you know that done i i just leave it there for the next clean out because, I mean, it's only 2%. I mean, it's not going to do anything. But I might might take it. I don't know. Nah, eh, let's just take it. Let's just get it over with. There we go. 
that's four. This is only two. Of course, everything has to fall on the hog pan. Seriously? Seriously? Are you... Good enough. All right, so let's put that hook back, back up and run up to the top, and then we can actually start making the gold. Now, after I get all my loan and everything else paid off, this is my 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 plan. As soon as I get everything paid off, then I'm going to literally, if I have enough money in the bank uh, to cover the rent costs and so, if and so on and so forth, I'm not going to do any clean-outs. So what I'm going to... So, okay, what I mean by I'm not going to do any cleanouts, what I mean by that is as soon as I have probably like, say, 100000 or something like that, I'm not for sure how much my rent bill even is anyway, But so as soon as that happens, what I'm going to do, let's just put that to the side, these two buckets are fantastic, what I'm going to do is I'm just, basically I'm going to steal... Mr. Arnold's idea, and what he has is like he does a hundred flipping buckets. Why are we not working? Because I didn't turn it on. That's why. <sighs> that's why I just turn everything on. Burns fuel, but that's I just I just do it so I don't have to come back over here and figure it out later. But anyway, he told me that he did like a hundred bucket clean out. And got over 2,500 ounces, which is absolutely just insane, I think. Said it took him like four days. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. Because if that is something that you would like to see, then I will buy all the buckets that I can and hook everything up. 344, that is going to be a fantastic bucket. But yeah, so I, I will do that probably, probably about 60 the first bucket. Oh, I, I need that bucket. About 60 buckets to see, or even 30, somewhere in there, which is five clean outs, which is going to be a good day. But I'm thinking because, or even if we save up till the end of the, of the season or whatever, I'll even fast travel, or not fast travel time, but I will make the time go by faster, so he can't say I'm cheating anyone. And then uh, we'll, we will go from there and uh, as soon as we did that, we wouldn't be paying rent money because, well, we wouldn't get no gold until the end. I mean, it, it's basically one way you can cheat because you're not getting gold if unless you do this. So that being said, it's a, it's a good idea. Good idea that Mr. Allen had and which I'm going to steal it. So, anyway... We're already at 50 ounces. Holy shit. Look, I mean, it, it's amazing what happens when you actually are on the gold. I, I, mean, I will say that for sure. But 50 ounces, and we still have, what, two, three, three buckets basically left? Something like that? 60 ounces already? Gee whiz. Now, of course, like I said, we had the two good buckets first. That was the moss mat and the top, or the first bucket, which is always going to get the best gold. But the higher the amount of magnetite that you get, the better. I mean, it always is. Always is that way. Let's see. And? The, so now the magnetite is through. 155. Ain't going to be, you know, fantastic. But ain't going to be bad either. So that one's going to be that one. And so we might as well just continue on here. Might as well get the first two good buckets. 88 ounces. Holy shit. Okay, guys. We are just blowing it up right now. 90 ounces. Are we going to do... Are we? Gonna, oh, yep. We already beat it. 94 and a half ounces of gold. Okay. So now that that is done, well, let's turn that on. Everybody's texting me right now. I swear, every time I try to record something, everybody and their brother texts me. And literally, it is my gal and my brother. And, uh, yeah. Suppose, uh, so I'm guessing, if I had to guess, my brother wants to know if we're going to come over for dinner. Because we were trying to 
set it up yesterday or last week, but then I had to go to the doctor and everything else. So we, then we had to postpone. So if I had to guess, that's what he wants to know. Let's see. How far are we? 59. And so I don't know what's going on, you know. Uh, I got some burger, uh, pork and beef, uh, ground beef and ground pork in the uh, in the deal. I need a bucket. And, uh, yeah, so I got some of that laying out. So I don't know. We may, may go over there and have some burgers and hot dogs. We went to Costco. Well, actually, at work, uh, one of my one of my co-workers said that they went to Costco and got um, bun-length hot dogs, or dinner hot dogs, or whatever the hell they're called. And uh, they're freaking fantastic. I mean, the some bitch is about 11 inches long. So, I mean, it's huge. But, I mean, it's really good. The, the flavor, the smokiness, the everything is pretty good. And uh, so, yeah, so I, I wanted to barbecue it up because at the apartment or where I live in the apartment, we can't have a barbecue. God only knows why. So because of that, he lives, you know, a mile, if that, not even a mile away from me. And uh, gives me a chance to see my, my monkey, even though she don't want to see me because I don't know if she's going through a shy stage or if she's just being a bitch. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she don't like me at the moment, so it's, it's, it gives me the chance to see her, and then, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, with that being said, I <sighs> get to go see her and uh, everything else. But I have no idea what my lady has planned. She's at work right now, and of course she texted me too, so who, she's probably going to be bitching about something. That's, that's about normal. So, anyway... We're done here. This one is not as good, but we're also out of that good dirt. And now we're into the, like, 0.4 ounces or whatever it was at. So it probably won't nearly be as good. But, I mean, 160, so we're at 70 ounces or so, 65 ounces. It's not bad. The first bucket was, or the first clean out was definitely better. 68.35 ounces, or a grand total of 162, might as well call it 163 ounces. We need another bucket, because I stole one. I don't want to forget that. And let me tell you what, I need to put a bucket there, too. Yeah, Mr. Allen found out that I missed the bucket, and Lord have you know, he hasn't let me forget. Oh, it's, it's connected to that one, that's why I couldn't find it. All right, so let's turn this off, get that bucket for the, the Nuggetator, and then we should be golden. I mean, I could get the other buckets and, and have it all set up, but... I mean, let, let's just do it, why not? So we need one, I think... Did I put a bucket up top? I can't remember. So we need uh, three more at least... And we'll just run this down. I think that was, that was only three, and we actually need four just down here. Yeah, so I need one more bucket. But, hey, 162 ounces for, I mean, not a, a terribly, not a terribly long time. Did I put a bucket up here? No, I didn't. Now, of course, i got to get super close because sometimes it doesn't render in. So I need two more buckets. So here, one, let's just throw that, and two. All right, okay, so here is one. I'll just put this up here since we're here already. Apparently, you know, we should join the Olympics and do the long jump because that was pretty good. But anyway, with that being said, we're doing absolutely fantastic. 162.8 ounces of gold we have all the gold oh we have gold already set up and uh so what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to let this run and uh you know get that dirt out of the way and then we will be good to go but other than that that is where i'm going to end this one hopefully you guys enjoyed like i said had a little bit of a time lapse uh and a little bit of a 
you know, communication deal, I guess you could say, uh, just makes the videos a little bit shorter, you know, because, uh, I mean, what now we're at the point where it's about an hour long every episode, uh, and that's just for one clean out. So, as you can tell, it's a little bit challenging to get uh, short videos out. So, hopefully, you guys do like the long videos. If you don't like the long videos, let me know in the comments below, and I will do more of these type of uh, videos. Oh, hey. Lovely. Oh, oh, hello. How do I get out of here? But, yeah. So, eventually, once I move the excavator over here, I will... Or even over here, maybe. Just open this up a little bit more. Then I'll get the front end loader and pick up all this good dirt here. And then get it out of the way. Now, Mr. Allen has sent me pictures of his claim of of this uh, river valley. And it's all gone. <laughs> he has no more dirt. So, I think it's absolutely insane. But, uh, yeah, he has absolutely no more dirt. And uh, I guess he went to Nighthawk, which is the last claim... And there is a shit ton of gold. Like, like it makes this gold look terrible. But anyway, with all that being said, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you haven't already, go join my Discord, because that is where all the magic happens. What magic? Not much. But anyway, that is where everybody, you know, communicates, talks, and everything else. And like I said, if you have any questions for me, that is the best place to do it because I get a notification on my phone. You can leave them on YouTube comments, but I won't get to them nearly as fast just because I have to remember to get myself to check YouTube notifications. But anyway, with all that being said, thank you all so much for everything you do for me. I will definitely see you in the next one. Take care.